It's a pleasure to be welcoming all of you on behalf of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare to this very special program and an event of national importance as we have gathered here to witness the launch of the National Pulse Polio Immunization Program for the year 2017. And it stands extremely remarkable for a country like India, which in fact in 1978 we had almost more than 2 lakh cases of polio annually. And in 1995, when the Pulse Polio program was launched, we still had almost 50,000 cases being reported annually. Finally, with a consistent efforts in uh, 2009, when we were able to drop down to almost uh, 741, we still had almost half the number of cases which were prevalent globally. And then uh, the milestone event in 2010, when the bivalent oral polio vaccine was launched by the Honorable president and we saw the results that in 2011 the last case of polio was reported from the Havra district. But at the same time, we're also aware that the strains of P1 and P3 virus are still in circulation globally. In fact, uh, Nigeria, which was declared as polio-free, has recently been again uh, declared uh, endemic. And that shows the kind of threat which continues. The government of India is uh, very much conscious of these threats and the risk which is there and has been taking steps towards keeping the population immunized. And one such uh, program which we have, which which we have every year is the National Pulse Polio Immunization Program, which has been receiving the political commitment of the highest order, being launched by the Honorable President of India under the leadership of our Honorable Union Health Minister. So our utmost thanks once again to the Honorable President for uh, supporting this uh, initiative of national importance. And now I would like to request uh, the Honorable Union Health Minister, Shuri J.P. Naddaji, for his views, inviting him to address the August gathering. Honorable President of India, Sri Pranab Mukherjee Ji, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to welcome and thank Your Excellency for launching the National Immunization Day for the year 2017. Your unwearying support has always been a source of great inspiration for all of us. Polio free certification of the entire Southeast Asia region of WHO, including India, on 27th March 2014 is a huge accomplishment in the history of public health. However, the risk of importations still persists from remaining three countries, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Nigeria, where polio virus is still circulating. In the past, many countries had reported polio outbreak as they either failed to maintain sensitive surveillance to detect polio or failed to maintain population immunity. This highlights the need for the country to maintain population immunity and sensitive surveillance till global polio eradication happens. In order to mitigate the risk of polio virus importation, the immunity against polio infection is maintained through national and sub-national polio rounds along with sustained high quality polio surveillance. During this countrywide polio campaign, starting from tomorrow, 29 January 2017, around 17 crore children of less than five years of age will be given polio drops. We are conducting continuous polio vaccination at the international borders with India. A travel advisory has also been issued to vaccinate all travelers who are traveling between India and eight other countries. Also, an emergency preparedness and response plan is in place and under which rapid response teams have been formed in all states and union territories to respond urgently to any importation of polio virus, to provide double protection to our children. Government of India has also introduced the injectable inactivated polio vaccine, IPV, into its routine immunization program. We have reduced under five mortality rate from 75 per thousand live births in 2005 to 45 per thousand, per, per thousand live births in 2014 as per recent SRS estimates. Immunization is one of the key interventions 
in reducing the child deaths in the country. To expand the scope of immunization in country, we have recently introduced rotavirus vaccine and planning in a planned and phased manner, an introduction of pneumococcal conjugate vaccine PCV that will help us to reduce the burden of diarrhea, pneumonia, and meningitis. We have also decided to conduct campaign with measles rubella vaccine in phased manner to cover entire country. We have launched Mission Intradhanush to strengthen our immunization coverage and ensure that all vaccines reach our targeted beneficiaries even in the remotest areas. I take this opportunity to congratulate and thank all the state governments and the supporting organizations like WHO, UNICEF and Rotary International for partnering in our endeavor of keeping nation polio free. Also, I am grateful to our health workers for achieving and maintaining success of polio program. I strongly believe that our ongoing efforts for polio immunization will ensure to maintain polio free status of our country to support the noble cause of polio eradication. The future of the country and our children depends on our joint efforts. I am sure that everyone will be the part of our mission to fully immunize for the fully immunizing of all the children. Thank you very much. That is uh, baby Anushka, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rajesh Ashinoy from uh, Indirapuram, uh, Ghaziabad. And now we have uh, baby Drishika Khutan, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Baljeet Singh from Munirka, Delhi. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Sandeep Bhadana and Dr. Shinu Chaudhary. The next baby is baby Bhavishka Singh, daughter of uh, Mr. Vineet Singh and Mrs. Swati Thakur. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ankita Saxena, baby Manat Saxena being administered the polio drops. Now inviting baby Savi Singh, daughter of Mr. Arjun Singh and Mrs. Malika Singh. And now one uh, lone son here, baby Namnai Sang Kibzen, son of Mr. and Mrs. Thanglal Kibzen. This launch today indeed signifies the celebration that we have for all the stakeholders and the frontline health workers who have worked tirelessly all these years to keep India polio free. We also stand here to remind ourselves of the task ahead because we cannot at any stage lower our guard. It's been six years since we achieved the milestone and the challenge, beyond global expectations. But the risk of importation is still there till global polio eradication really happens. Therefore, we must continue to work very hard. It is the inspiration and the guidance of the honorable dignitaries on occasions like this which drives all of us to continue to work hard and strive for excellence in this field. On behalf of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, I am extremely grateful to the Honorable President of India for sparing time, not just this year, but always for this launch of the National Immunization Day. Sir, through this launch, you show us the way. It motivates us and particularly energizes the frontline workers whose efforts have been immense during these years to keep India polio free. Thank you very much, sir, for your constant inspiration and guidance to the program. 
I also express my heartfelt gratitude to the Honorable Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare for leading us and constantly supporting and encouraging us. Your leadership has been a critical pillar for our effort for full immunization in this country. I am grateful to both the Honorable Ministers of State, Madam Anupriya Patel and Sri Fulasta Saab for their constant support, guidance and continuous push to all the officers to take this effort forward. I take this opportunity to convey my heartfelt thanks to the pillars of this success, that is, my colleagues in the ministry, the state government officials and civil society organizations for making this happen and repeating it every year. This success, ladies and gentlemen, is about partnerships. And I'm extremely grateful to WHO, UNICEF, Rotary International, BMGF, and all our development partners who have continued to provide us technical and managerial support in the polio program and have always stood alongside us in whatever effort we have made. We are grateful to them. My biggest thank is due to those workers who actually made it happen. The field workers, the frontline workers, the ANMs, the ASHAs, the mobilizers, the supervisors for their hard work. Without this army of foot soldiers and their dedication, we would not have been successful. I would like to place on record my appreciation and thanks to the media who play a very pivotal role in this entire program in taking the campaign forward. They have always been with us in this campaign and shown us the way. My appreciation is also due to those hundreds of activists, religious and community leaders, parents and families across the country who were able to motivate communities towards immunization. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a journey of togetherness and I thank you all for being with us. We look forward to achieving our larger goal of stopping all preventable deaths possible through immunization and immunizing every child everywhere in this country. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, sir, for your support and guidance.